the Portuguese set sail on their conquest to India in 1498 and later colonized Goa for 450 years. Wow, that's massive. During this era, they built many monuments and structures that are still standing to this day and that have received UNESCO World Heritage Site recognition. So, in this video, let me take you on a virtual tour at one such site which was also the former capital of the state known as The Basilica of Bor Jesus is the main church of Old Goa and is one of the most visited monuments in the whole of India and was built during 1595 to 1605 it houses the relics of saint francis xavier and is also the most significant part of this tour why let me share a short story with you saint francis xavier was born on april 7th 1506 and died on 3rd december 1552 on sanshin island when on a route to continental china he was then buried there and later his body was taken to malacca or modern day malaysia and 2 years later shifted to goa it is said that the saint's body was as fresh as the day it was buried and he was later canonized as a saint due to the many miracles performed the relics are exposed every 10 years Shh. now let's get inside the church quietly with utmost respect as you see This is a statue of Saint Francis Xavier. There is also a large statue of Saint Ignatius at the altar. Here are the relics of Saint Francis Xavier. Wait a sec. Let me show you a close-up picture. Now let's head to the chapel of Saint Catherine. Afonso de Albuquerque entered Goa on 25th November 1510. victoriously by defeating Adil Shah in a battle that day was the feast of saint catherine and hence to commemorate this victory he built this chapel the chapel is in baroque style has a brown and white facade it is built with laterite stones and plastered with lime mortar and has a tower on either side Now let's head upwards. The Church of Saint Francis of Assisi was built in 1661. The church presents a striking beauty of original Portuguese Manuelan architecture style. Its exterior decoration is in simple Tuscan order, but its interior, especially the main altar, is richly baroque. The church's gilded interior is decorated with paintings of events in the life of St Francis with carved woodwork and additional statues there are four evangelists on the main altar and a small niche for the statue of Mary above these is the statue of St Francis of Assisi holding the crucified Christ follow along don't remain back the sea cathedral is a church also dedicated to St Catherine and was built In 1619 the exterior is Tuscan whereas the interior is Corinthian the main altar is dedicated to Catherine of Alexandria and there are several other paintings on either side of it the Sea Cathedral also houses a baptismal font made in 1532 which was used by Saint Francis Xavier in order to baptize several Goan converts There is also a cross of miracles where the vision of Christ was said to have appeared in 1619. The Sea Cathedral's tower houses a large bell known as the Golden Bell. It is said to be the largest in Goa and one of the best in the world. It had two towers, but one collapsed in 1776 by a lightning and was never rebuilt. The church is 250 feet that is 76 meters in length and 181 feet 55 meters in breadth. The frontispiece stands 115 feet or 35 meters high. For now let's take a break 
And when you are ready, join me by clicking on the video towards the right. See you in my next video.